Now we're going to take a look at a very basic reversal from side control bottom. A lot of times your opponent will give you a lot of trouble driving that shoulder into the face and every time you try to move your hips away or shrimp away, they're right there at the door pushing you back down. I'm going to give you a good option on how to reverse them. Alright, I've messed up, I've gotten the side control and Marty's down. I really want to get that under or that pummel underneath, but you know Marty's staying just too tight for that. That hand is over here by my hip, making it impossible for me to recompose guard and just giving me a lot of problems. Now, keep in mind, their hand has to be on this side next to the hip in order to do this reversal. If they come over here and they've got a different type of control here, we're not going to do this reversal. Just keep that in mind. So the hand's over here by my hip, and I've got my grappling hook in. So that grappling hook right here is just going to be my forearm bent, uh, nicely resting against the inside of his hip. I don't want to be pushing him away. I'm actually going to do most of the power lifting with my elbow. Yeah. So I got that grappling hook in. This hand is actually going to reach over. I'm going to try and grab the belt, and he's going to continually be pushing me back down. That's okay. If it takes you a few minutes to get a hold of that belt, it's okay. If you can't get a hold of the belt, it's okay to grab the back of their kimono. Now, here's where a lot of people mess up. A lot of people will get here and just try to lift and take Marty over. If you do it that way, it's never going to work. I mean, you're going to be going from a static position and you're going to not build that type of momentum you need. What I'm going to try and do is lift this far shoulder off the ground. I'm going to be pushing it into Marty. I'm going to invite him to flatten me back out. Good jiu-jitsu players will. So I come up here and I start to push into him and Marty flattens me back out. Okay, now I think, all right, Marty wants to flatten me back out. That's good. I try it again and he flattens me back out. This time, I'm going to time it. I'm going to take this shoulder off the floor. I'm going to drive it into Marty. And when he drives back into me, I'm going to pull him over top of me. And I'm going to lift with this forearm. I'm here. He pulls. And I take him over. A lot of people, when they do this, think that it takes a lot of strength. And it's not really strength. It's, it's timing and playing off of his drive to want to have your back flat on the floor. Let's take a look at it again from that same angle. I'm side control bottom. I reach over, I get a hold of that belt the best I can. See, I'm bringing my, my shoulder off the floor. If he drives me down before I get it, that's okay. I'll just grab the back. I've got that grappling hook in. I'm going to start to move my hips away, turn in, he flattens me out. I turn in, flattens out, and I take him over. Notice, turn forward. Notice how I end with that forearm on the stomach. That's going to be really important for taking him over. You can't push with the hand. If you push with the hand, you're never going to get it. It's lifting with that elbow almost the same way from that side control escape that we were talking about. Make sure that you're grabbing a hold of the belt. Let me do it once without Marty. I'm in that side control position. I reach over, I get the belt. Notice this forearm right here. Reach over, get the belt. Forearm is in. He drives me back. I try to come in, he drives me back. Okay, I know. I drive in. When he goes to take me back, I'm going to move my hips towards him. I'm lifting with that elbow, and I take my hips over. Really high percentage. You know, there's a guy, Jordan, really good at this in Brazil. He showed it to me, and I've just had success after success with it. Make sure you practice your timing. If you're not having success with it, it's probably because you're either pushing with your hand or your timing is a little bit off. Get that shoulder off the floor, roll off your back.